Okay, uh, Adam and Jans again. Uh, this time it's nine plan failed from the first record. Uh, I'm doing the whole record if you're interested with uh, one of my students. Still got a couple more to do. I've got uh, what the idea, Xerox, kick, and Christian D Christian Dior. They're the last ones to do. I've done the rest. The videos are up on my channel if you're interested. Um, yeah, this is a good one, this one. So, standard tuning. Okay. A um, little bit of filth on there, but not, not too much distortion. And I'm just going to do your parts. I'm not going to go through the whole song because uh, I haven't done this one in a while and I'm just kind of looking at my notes there. Uh, yeah, I think I remember how it goes. I'll give it a try. Okay, so your, your first part, your first guitar. All right. So it's your first finger on the nine of the three, and I would just put my little finger, you can use your third, over the twelfth fret of the two and the one. So, and then your, your uh, strings are three, one, two, one. Just keep doing that. Now I re recommend your pick goes down, up, down, up, in the direction of the next note, okay? So down, up, 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 Class. Love it. Uh, this is probably my favourite one from that record actually. Well, I haven't listened to the whole record yet, so. Uh, right, so that bit, we go to the 12th fret on the second string with the first finger, 14th fret on the third string. We're going to bend that up, so I would recommend using two fingers. So I have your second finger behind there, push it up, so they sound the same. Okay, so the third, the third string goes up, and then our very dissonant chord here, first finger on the eight of the five, second finger on the nine of the four, third finger on the ten of the three, let's play the five strings, okay, then we'll do the same bend, and then we'll go to a D sus two, okay, so it's like a D major, but without the second finger, and just play so let me show you that again. So it's That's the next bit, okay? So what we'll do there is we'll start on the second fret of the fifth, two strums down, add your second finger to the three and the six and play them together. So it's okay, and then go to five on the fifth, four. Two, then we're going to do an E minor shape, and what we're going to do is we're going to play it three times together, and then just the open fourth, and back to the two. And I believe it goes. comes in there and the verse we use the the major triad so what I want to think with the verse is it's one shape I'm gonna use two fingers and uh, it's the first finger goes over the first and second string and the second finger goes to the third string in front of it which one's that again is it first inversion of the verse, if you want to know a bit of theory so we'll start let's do it in relation to our first finger so we're starting on the tenth fret there Right, same rhythm throughout, and then we pull back to the nine, pull it to the seven, and the five. Now we'll change up slightly, we're gonna go 10, 13, 9, 12, 8, 7, and you do one nine, uh, one nine here. Let's do that again, so it's Too clear. I see I haven't done that this for a while. 
Uh, but you will know the song, you'll know your bits, and you'll know how to put it all together. Uh, so that's that. Anyway, next part. So it's a... That bit, and then we have the funky bit. So it's two guitars at that point, but the first part, we'll just use like a C shape. You don't even have to use a three and two, you can just use one and two. And let's just say a second finger on the third of the fifth, first finger on the second of the fourth, and we're gonna go uh, just uh, five, four, three, five, four, three, and then you move it forward one fret, five, four, and another fret, five, four, three, five, and then we're gonna go up the ten and nine, and we'll go down, up, down. Pull it back to the 87 and down, okay, so it's so get a better angle there, I need some better equipment if I'm going to do this, and so... Okay, so hopefully you can see that there. Uh, yeah, and then the last section, is to th well, one of the last sections to think about, we have one of the guitars, first finger on the fifth of the two, third finger or fourth, whichever you prefer, on the seven of the one, and like that, okay, so same staccato sort of rhythm, and then, sorry, the second chord is 12 and 30, you can switch your fingers if you want, but um, keep it same. The other guitar, the second guitar, is just on the third string, and it's going... Okay, so, uh, rhythm-wise... Sorry, I should probably explain that better. So, 9 and 7, right? And then 10 and 8, so we're going... Sometimes it's like this. So for those last two, excuse me, for those last two, just hit over the second and third string. And then where does it go back after that? Is it probably about there? First, like just the first chord. Sorry. The very first section, all we're going to do is drag it back each time, or fret each time. So, so learn the first section first, and then, but it's, you know, just you know, three, one, two, one. subscribe if you're enjoying these videos and uh, if you particularly like this first record uh, I'll be putting the next ones up soonish um, yeah like and comment all that stuff <laughs>